Some of the first recorded competitive fights happened within the simple confines of a chalk or sand circle, crudely strewn on the ground around the combatants. Ancient wall paintings found inside the caves of Mongolia depict images of nude combatants fighting whilst surrounded by a group of onlookers in the crowd. The paintings have been dated as far back as 9,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. In ancient Greece, wrestling matches were a key part of the ceremonial games, with prestigious combatants grappling it out on a squared mat or cordoned off area with a circle painted in chalk around them. Wrestling is perhaps the oldest and most universal of all sports. The wall paintings of Beni Hassan show that almost every hold or throw known to modern wrestlers was known to the Egyptians 2,500 years before our era. The popularity of wrestling among the Greeks is proved by the constant metaphors from this sport and by the frequency with which scenes from the wrestling ring appear not only in athletic literature and art, but also in mythological subjects. In China, records of sporting events from between 221 and 207 BC show public wrestling matches being displayed for the crowd's amusement. The bouts took place atop an elevated structure known as a lei tai. The second oldest book on Japanese wrestling, which was first released in the year 720, is called the Nino Shoki and outlines the events of the very first sumo bout, which is said to have taken place in 23 BC. At this point in time, the bouts were little more than unregulated punching and grappling contests, often with no rules, no referee and no real confines to contain the fighters. In 1578, Oda Nobunaga held an enormous 1,500-man sumo contest in his castle in Japan and needed a way to display several bouts at once in order to speed up the rounds of the competition. This is where the circular arenas were used in order to keep the fighters in and the fans out. This tradition continued in many forms around the world, most notably in Japan where Beloved sumo wrestlers have continued to fight for pride in one of the country's most iconic athletic endeavours. This is where we derive the name for the modern combat ring and we see the evolution from a simple rope or sand barrier being refined, elevated and better protected in order to further limit the risk of interaction between fighters and fans. Another beloved form of combat to take place all around the world is boxing, where at this time, no real rules or regulations were in place surrounding contests, with fighters using taped fists surrounded by a horde of betting fans who would often encroach on the arena and slow down the pace of the fight. In 1743, the London Prize Ring Rules were established, which saw the fighters meeting in a small designated circle to begin the bout. In 1838, a 24 by 24 foot square ring was developed by the Pugilistic Society in London and is seen by many as the beginning of the evolution in today's modern boxing. The widely accepted rules at this time stated that the ring shall be 4 and 20 feet square, formed of 8 stakes and ropes, the latter extending in double lines, the uppermost line being 4 feet from the ground and the lower 2 feet from the ground that in the centre of the ring a mark be formed to be termed a scratch, and that at two opposite corners, as may be selected, spaces being closed by other marks sufficiently large for the reception of the seconds and bottle holders to be entitled the corners. The vast history of combat sports being displayed for crowds is long and storied. These key areas which I've alighted in this brief history are the clues as to where the term squared circle was commonly said to originate.